Hello and welcome! Here we are again for yet another Vex Super Hostile map. This one is Lethemir. And uh, as you can tell by the hearts down there, it is done in hardcore mode. So if I die, that is it. I am dead. Uh, it is designed in more of a continental thing, and I'm gonna guess this little billboard over here. I'm gonna guess it's a series of signs. Hence why I called it a billboard. Uh, yep, there's the signs loading. That was kind of odd, but uh, should describe more about this map. But we'll see what happens. We'll see if I only last 15 minutes due to the, like, two creepers sitting over there on the island. Will I survive? We don't know, but we will find out. Why not? It's definitely going to be interesting. I'm probably going to be quieter. There's already three creepers over here by the signs. Two of which are coming after me, along with a spider. Uh, because it's on hardcore mode, that makes it default to do hard. So that'll be fun. It doesn't look like the spider gives a damn. That's good. Considering spiders... Spiders... They can be at times more dangerous than a lot of other mobs. Oh, shit. I should make sure I don't blow him up near this sign, to be honest. Or signs. Blow up, blow up, blow up. Why do creepers never blow up when you want them to? First episode, seeing if I can kill a creeper with my fist. Uh, well, he blew up. Got some building materials, that's always a plus. Uh, not a whole lot I can build with sand. But anyhow, welcome to Super Hostile number 11, Lethemir by Vex. Rules. One, find a complete victory monument, which I am on map B. So, there's four different versions of the map with uh, stuff in different locations, chest randomized differently, the victory monument in different locations, but uh, use at least easy, never peaceful. I don't understand why it has it on there, because this is hardcore. You're locked to hard. Do not leave the map boundaries, which are probably bedrock walls. Find woolen chests. Do not use sheep dye or spider silk. Survive any way you can think of. You may craft the metal blocks for the victory monument. You may use spider string for non victory monument uses, such as beds, bows. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, spider string, wool. I guess not bows and fishing poles, but, uh, you know, decorative purposes even. This is my first continental style map. It is mostly about surviving and exploring, although it has a fair share of dungeons. Special thanks to Camu. Camu? Butchering the name, I know it. Camu for the randomizer programs. It is your. F if your friend plays variant A, you should try B or C. There is a D version. I don't know why he doesn't have it listed. Uh, maybe he didn't have D at the time of making it, so it was a good idea. And I know I'm talking really, really fast. I'm going to try to calm down on that. Uh, it's just these signs. A lot of them are pretty standard from map to map. But anyhow. The loot chests and spawners are randomized. While I can, or while I control what can spawn, I have no idea what actually is in each chest or spawner. The different letter versions have different loot and spawns. For example, 1.0A and 1.0B have different random loot. Um, looks like that's uh, the end of that. I'm gonna need tree. Tree. Not trees, just tree. Uh, I'm gonna need seeds, too. Which, he left me all this grass, but oh, there's a seed. I know I haven't picked it up yet. I know I'm on hardcore mode. That's part of the reason why I'm in, like, super fast mode and trying to get past the signs. Because I want to make sure that I don't get absolutely slaughtered. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what continental style map is supposed to mean. I'm sure he probably described it. It's about more of... I know it's about more of uh, exploring and finding things and doing whatever, but... I, I don't, like... There's map boundaries, so I know that there's a way to get out of the map. Well, not out of it, but you know where the edge of it is, so you don't leave it. But he doesn't really say too much. Um, now, because this is hardcore, I will end up skipping nighttime and stuff. Uh, I am going to need to find food as fast as possible. I should have salvaged my ship for wood, so I can make a uh, wheat farm and stuff right away. But, uh, yeah, about the chests and stuff, I have a bad feeling I'm going to end up starving to death long before I find one, considering I'm already at half. 
Should I starve to death? You will never see this video. Because I will see no point in uploading it if I don't even make it past the starvation phase. Yeah, I see trees. Trees are good. Trees can provide me with stuff. I'm not going to sprint. Sprinting can screw me over greatly. There's a very, very high probability that I will try to gain access to potion making. Um, the only things I know of offhand are potion of poison, potion of harming, and potion of healing. Uh, I know regeneration takes a ghast tier. I'm guessing that's about it. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that. I guess I know most of the important potions. I know there's a few other potions. Maybe not. Actually, I don't think there is. I do kind of want to make a bed. That way I can get through the night, but... Uh, yeah... I'm more concerned about starving to death, which... Cows. No. No. I don't know how much life cows have, but hopefully punching them to death doesn't take too terribly long. Okay, two meat. The good thing about cows is they draw up quite a bit of meat, and I know I'm eating it raw, but I need to fill up my food bar. And, yeah, I'm still in, like, super hyper-accelerated mode because this is the beginning of the map, and I want to make sure that I get through it. Once I get established, get tools and stuff, uh, armor if I can, you know, everything will be a lot better. There's a zombie there. I still don't have a sword. I'm still punching things to death. I've managed to fill up my food bar almost entirely, but, uh, hopefully this doesn't suffer the same issues my last Vex map did, which was I had some issues directly related to the audio being out of sync at the beginning of it. Um, but like I said, I apologize for speaking very, very quickly at the beginning of this, but I want to make sure that I can safely get going and whatnot. So, that's that. Oh. Oh, shit. I need tools. I need... I need... I just need, just need, oh, crap, I need to not go that way, that way is a bad way. Uh, I might have to dig myself into a hole here, partly because I'm going to need stone anyhow. Everything appears to be a little safe out here, I'm going to beat up this cow. I do need more wood, but I have enough to get at least the basic tools and stuff started. Thank God the rain has stopped. Uh, okay, workbench. Look around, look around, nothing's coming after me. Convert the rest of this into wood. A stone pick. It's not where I like to normally have it, but I do not have the time to screw around with that. I realize the sun's out and zombies and stuff will burn, but uh, I should make a bed just in case the dark comes by on me. So I will do that. Use up a little bit of my wood, but I'll empty out some of my inventory space here. Plop that bed down right there. Um, as for the texture pack, it is a texture pack of my own creation, so if you're wondering what it is, I made it. Pretty much everything looks the same, it was designed to make things look a little, a little bit more high definition, and I was beginning to wonder if there was any, uh, stone down here. Pick is not where I'm used to it being. I don't know how much TNT is going to be in this map, since it's going to be in hardcore, but... If, uh, Pulsors Jr. can, you know, place spellbound caves on, uh, hard mode, I'm pretty sure I can at least partly get through this. Speaking of nighttime, it is slowly encroaching. I'm going to make things incorrectly. I'm gonna make a stone pick, make some more sticks, I'm gonna make a axe. And I need more stuff. I don't have any light sleeping tr while well, trying to sleep. It's probably a very bad idea, especially without any source of light. Uh, I have enough uh, stone for what I wanted to make. I'm going to try to sleep, but I don't want to do it without some kind of a weapon first. So we'll select the weapon. We will sleep facing the moon, because that just have to be how I placed the bed. And... Nice. Everything is good. I do kind of want to make a shovel, but I definitely want to go get uh, wood and stuff first. 
Um, I need to make charcoal since I haven't found any actual coal yet. Uh, this video is probably very dark for you. I'm probably not going to lighten it up just because of the fact that, uh, well, I don't plan to be down here very long. I'm just collecting stone so I have what I need to start it out. This is hardcore, so there's no point leaving my bed here as a spawn point. I'm just going to take it with me. I'm going to keep myself very mobile, but v try to get myself armored up. But I'm not just going to dig into the ground at the very beginning. Well, I guess I already did that. But I mean, I'm not just going to dig in the ground and hide in a hole until I think I'm prepared. And just go farm things. I am going to go slaughter every single cow and pig I see. I don't want to risk food being a problem. If I die of starvation, I will be very sad. But... Now that that's pretty much over, I've got a bed going, I've got the night passed, I've got uh, weapons and stuff. What do you guys think? Is it going to be awesome? Am I going to die? That's going to be interesting, and uh, hopefully Vex watches me play this map too. What is with this chicken? Invince a chicken. You see, guys see this? Wow. Vex... You hacking your game. Why are you hacking? You are ROM hacking. Fine. Leave that chicken alone. Apparently he does not work. Vex, what kind of cheaty stuff did you do in this map? All the chickens are invincible. Of course, though, this is... Ooh, chicken. Well, not chicken. Egg. Ooh, I saw a pig. I know there's more cows around here somewhere, but pig, pigs, three pigs, four pigs, I see four pigs, I see sheep, but I don't really have any need for wool outside of the one bed, because I'm never going to need more than one bed. It's hardcore. There's no point trying to set my spawn, just do it to get rid of night. What is going on here? Okay, fine, Bex. You want to be cheaty? You want to make things not be able to be killed? Whatever. I know the cows were killable. We need to find more cows. I know there's at least one more cow somewhere. But what is up with these pigs and chickens? I don't understand why they can't be killed. That is very strange. I've never seen anything like that. This chicken died. Now, I saw there was a creeper over there, which is part of the reason why I'm readjusting my uh, little viewpoint here. I'm gonna get a hold of as much wood as quickly as possible as I can. Um, I know this is very boring, I know this is kind of like the beginning of Minecraft, but remember, this is hardcore. I have to be very careful about everything I do. If I die once, it's game over. And uh, do I expect to be able to complete this map? Maybe, maybe not. I am damn well going to try. However, I don't see myself lasting past two hours. But, uh, if I die in the first 20 minutes, I probably won't even upload it. Just because it'll be pointless. I probably won't even try again. You guys will never know. Unless someone actually, like, requests me to play it again. But, uh, who knows. Of course, though, you won't be able to say play again because if I don't upload it, you'll never know that I didn't play it in the first place or something along those lines. Oh! Ow. I really do need to cook this food, but there's... These skeletons and stuff hanging out in these trees are ridiculous, and I don't really have any kind of indicator saying that I'm going the right way. And the creeper exploded. I'm hoping I'll find some kind of like a civilization or something. Figure maybe if I keep following things, I'll eventually end up somewhere useful. Spider eye, emergency rations, food. I'm gonna need more swords very quickly at the rate things are going. Got a nice little spot here for fighting these spiders and stuff. Zombies, single player, not a huge deal unless you let them ambush you. But, uh, yeah. I heard something walking. Oh, so skeleton over there. I'm going to avoid him. Ooh, cow. Need more steak. I've been chewing down on raw steak just because I've been desperate for food. 
I need to keep my food bar up. I have to be regenerating at all times. Uh, ooh. It's another good thing that I almost forgot about. I need to farm cows. Uh, as many as I can find. Not only for the food. The food's just an extra benefit. I need the armor. Leather is not great, but when you have nothing, it's better than nothing. If you know what I mean. So... Luckily, I can kill everything in this area. I'm definitely going to need to make more swords soon. And I'm being very, very constant with this commentary. Um, you know what? I'm going to keep it going for this first s recording session. If you, you know, don't mind it, let me know. If you really want me to slow down, let me know. But I, I'm not going to lie. I've never played in hardcore before. I've played in hard, but not hardcore. So, this is actually a pretty new experience for me. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. I'm just heading from patch of cows to patch of cows. I'm going to need a new sword just from killing animals. But, you do what you got to do. Cows are being really stingy, though. Give me your fleshy... Uh leathery skin stuff, yeah. Who knows, maybe I'll be able to fit a whatchamadoodle into this series somewhere. I'll try to say something, forget what it is, call it a whatchamadoodle, and then fix it. <clears throat> and I apologize for that. Apparently talking very quickly makes my throat very dry very quickly. So... Ooh, trees. Ooh, a wolf. Do I have any bones? I have one bone. You be my friend? Nope. Tree cow. They've been killing sheep, I see. Oh! 